Thank you, Madam Speaker. The rule before us today makes in order three pieces of legislation, including H.R. 8294, a bill to fund six of the 12 appropriations bills. As a member of the Appropriations Committee, I want to just say I'm extremely grateful to Ranking Member Granger and also Chairwoman DeLauro for all the hard work that they put in and also the committee staff. I know a lot of efforts went into this legislation. Unfortunately, the product before us was flawed from the very start. As House Democrats drastically underfunded our national defense while providing major increases to the same social programs that have already received trillions of dollars in funding under the Biden administration. It's clear that the Democrats' out-of-control spending has been the key driver to, to inflation. But don't take my word for it. Larry Summers, former economic advisor to President Biden, went so far as to call the American Rescue Plan, and I quote, the least responsible macroeconomic policy we've had in the last 40 years, end quote. Again, that was Larry Summers, Democrat advisor to the president. And you know what? He was right. Last month, inflation hit 9.1%. That's the highest inflation rate in my lifetime. It's the highest inflation rate since 1981. President Biden's inflation crisis has cost the American worker over $3,000 in annual income. And, skyrocketing, and, the, and the skyrocketing cost of goods and services will cost the average American family over $6,000. That's what's so nefarious about inflation. It hits the working class and those on a fixed income the hardest. Yet the big government Democrats, with their reckless spending policies, had these six bills before us today included in the package. The six bills included in today's package received a total increase of 11% over the previous fiscal year, with some accounts like the Federal Trade Commission and the Office of Personnel Management receiving double-digit and triple-digit percentage increases, which will, of course, uh, fuel additional inflation. And just keep in mind, the defense appropriation bill approved by the Appropriations Committee had just a 4.4% increase. Additionally, instead of addressing record high gas prices, Democrats are pushing this partisan Green New Deal initiative that will only worsen Biden's energy crisis. Under this measure, offshore oil and gas activities are restricted and oil and gas inspection fees are increased. This is just going to drive up the cost of energy for working families. H.R. 8294 also includes numerous far left radical liberal policies like allowing taxpayer dollars to fund abortions and keeping our critical and strategic minerals in the ground. Alarmingly, it includes provisions that threaten our national security, including allowing for the closure of Guantanamo Bay, which houses some of the world's most dangerous terrorists, also failing to modernize the nuclear weapons stockpile and complex and providing incentives for illegal immigration. Further, the rule before us today provides for consideration H.R. 8373, which goes far beyond supporting access to contraception. And let me just be clear about this point. Not a single state in the union, not a single general assembly in any state is debating considering making contraception illegal. This poorly drafted bill has extreme provisions that could harm the health of women, send taxpayer dollars to Planned Parenthood and, abortion, uh, and other abortion providers, and force people to violate their religious and sincerely held beliefs. I therefore urge my colleagues to oppose this rule, and I reserve the balance of my time. 